Hello, my name is Cashman, and welcome back to another video, and today we are checking out a very epic thing, the new Minecraft Caves and Cliffs snapshot, which adds in some very nice features like bundles, candles, lava cauldrons, copper, amethyst, lightning rods, uh, the spyglass, which is kind of useless, uh, tinted glass, and shulkers hitting shulkers make new shulkers. Makes sense. Um, but yeah, so today we are back on the hardcore world, where I will be looking for some of this new stuff, because I want to find an amethyst geode, uh, but the only problem is my blue shulker box, which you may know is where I keep all of my tools, is missing, and I literally have no idea where it is. And I've gone back to previous releases, and I still have no idea, so yeah, I will just have to make a new elytra to fla fa fa away. So, uh, yeah, I want to head off in this direction to see if I can find some of them delicious geodes. But first, I want to check out these candles and these, uh, bundles. Because everything else, I would need to go to other places to find. But here, and also the lava cauldron, which I, eh, I don't really care about. Um, <laughs> yeah, let's see, let's kind of, let's try and guess what this candle recipe is. I literally have no idea. Okay, um, <laughs> ah, string and honeycomb, that makes sense. We also need rabbit hides, which I will actually have to go and look for, which kind of sucks because I don't like looking for things. What's the fun in that? Let's just make a bunch of these candles, because candles, um, yeah, they exist, and I say that's pretty nice. So let's just take a quick little look at these bad boys. We just place one down, we got... One small little candle. We can place two, and then three, and then four. It's like sea pickles, but candles. And then, hey, they're lit. That's pretty lit, bro. <laughs> and then, uh, I don't have any cake, but you can put candles on cake, which is pretty epic. I mean, like, that's pretty nice. That's a feature which, you, birthday cakes. Finally. Now what I want to do is I want to go explore this little map area because I actually set this area aside specifically so that I could, uh, you know, explore it in a new update. So we'll just do that. Ooh, now this right here looks promising. Ooh, yes. Yes, I can see some, some very nice stuff right here. Yes. You might be able to see this. This is, this is the very delicious copper ore that we get to pick up in this new update. So yeah, let's just let's just scoop this, this stuff up. Very nice. Very delicious. And I've fallen. Okay, there are skeletons here. But what I would really like to find is a geode. Oh, hey. I just started mining a little bit and then I think this is the new block. Wait, if I... If I place down a candle, yes, and use it as a light source, there we go. Yeah, there we go. Hey, and look, there's some ameth eh, amethyst, okay. So we got whatever this block, tough. Interesting. So we got tough and calcite. Ooh, and I broke one. I broke one of these boys. That is unfortunate. But they make nice sounds. Still can't believe I'm using candles as a light source. Uh, but yeah, this is pretty cool. This is very cool. Okay, I'm just gonna grab these amethyst blocks. It makes such a nice little ding too. I very, I very much like it. There's also these cluster blocks right here. You can kind of tell they're different because they got the little whole thing. I want to see if I can collect it. No, you cannot. Okay, do not break any of the cluster blocks. Lesson learned. Um, or the growth blocks. Yeah, I assumed you won't be able to collect them, because they were saying that, like, they wanted you to have to go and collect it, so. Makes sense, but still kind of sad. Do kind of wish I could just take it with me. <laughs> you know, I'll be honest, the tough just kind of looks like another... Like, like man, Mojang, these up very nice. Uh, but... These blocks kind of look ugly. I mean, like, we got... 
We got gravel. We got the other dead coral blocks. This just kind of looks like another dead coral block. And then this just looks like diorite, but nicer. Looks like granite, kind of. Not granite. You know what I mean. It looks like diorite. Or marble. It looks like marble. That's what I'm saying. Um, but yeah, besides all that, we have these crystal thingies hanging around. So let's... Grab, okay. We got these amethyst shards, and then, oh, do they have to be full grown? They, oh, they have to be full grown to harvest. That's kind of very annoying. So we only have four of these. Hmm, I don't like that. Well, <laughs> uh, yeah, I kind of wish it at least gave you like one or two or something, but not just broke. I think what I'm gonna do, I know, this is, this is gonna be crazy. I'm gonna go in creative mode. Oh. My goodness, what is this man's talking about? And I'm gonna get the last few things that I wanna show off, but I will back up the world beforehand. So, <laughs> I will have my stuff, but I wanna show you guys the stuff off, but I don't wanna wait for an hour because I wanna go to bed. Um, this is later at night, so yeah, I'll be back at my base with the new goodies. All right, so I'm here in the creative menu, and I just want to show off. We got colored candles, many colors, and we also have a bunch of copper blocks. Oh, this is weird. Weathered copper block. K. K. Just K. All right, K. That's actually kind of hilarious. Look at this name. <laughs> Waxed, lightly weathered, cut copper stairs. That is quite the name. This is also weird. Look, we have waxed, this is copper block, and then we have waxed copper. It's not waxed copper block. That is most peculiar. All right, so now that we have infinite items and infinite power, let's uh, check some of these items out. So we got, got the spyglass, and I just realized, let's get away from the nether portal, because no one wants to listen to the nether portal. And let's see, I want to look at that iron golem that's super far away, you can't see him. And then right click it and bam. Look look at our little friend Arena over there. Now, as you can see the issue is like you see how that tree over there, right over there, it's out of render distance. It stays out of render distance. So spyglass does not help with render distance. But I do think it's fun because you can use it to zoom in on stuff. So you know if I wanna see how my little iron golem friend up there is doing, but I want to be at my house, I can just zoom in on him with spyglass. And then we have the good old budding amethyst block, which, let me just add, like, listen to the sounds. They just sound so nice. I just love, I love the sounds. They're so... Like, people will be able to make music with this stuff. It, it, I just like the sounds. They're, they're nice. It's nice. And we also have Le Good Old Bundles, which you use rabbit hide and string to make. So let's just take a look at our little friend Arena. I'm going to try and guess, get the, guess the crafting recipe because I have seen it. It's like that. Yes. Okay. So this is a crafting recipe. Kind of sucks because you need to get six rabbit hide to make a bundle, which, like, I hope what they do is they make, you can either do rabbit hide or leather, because I would much rather spend six leather than go out and find six rabbit hides to make a bundle, because these are early game items, and I want to be able to get them early on and not take a million years to get it. Um, but yeah, you can see, we can, can, I think, right, yeah, right click, and it adds items in. Very nice. So we got 14 string and 19 fireworks in here. Can add in a couple iron, some copper blocks, and then, okay, nice. So if you click, like, a full stack, it'll take as much as it can. Nice. Now, I've seen that you can do this. You can put bundles in bundles. <laughs> So let's say, all right, 37 uh, copper ingots, and then I can put that in there. 
Interesting, though. So, look. If you do put it in, though, the next one retains the size. So, does that mean if I take that one, can I? No, I can't take that one. Okay. So, I feel like people are talking about this like, oh, no, there's going to be problems with people being able to, like, just stack the bundles together. But it seems like they actually got, they got it right because... The bundle, it keeps the amount that it stores, if you get what I mean. <laughs> um, I barely get what I mean, so, yeah. Um, also, copper ore. You smelt it, and you get copper ingot. And then copper ingot, you have to use nine to make a copper block, which, like, I, I understand, but it just seems, like, really expensive, since the point of the copper is mainly like a decoration purpose. So most people, they'll get the lightning rod, which that's pretty cheap. Yeah, that's pretty nice. So they'll get the lightning rod. Yay, nice, whatever. Um, but then they will, they'll have to go out and get copper ingots, like specifically, which is kind of annoying. And you'll have to get a lot since one block is that, or you know, one copper block. And then finally, we have tinted glass, which we'll show you the crafting recipe for, or at least finally for what I am showing off today. So it's a glass surrounded by four amethyst shards, which is expensive, kind of, but you know, whatever. And then tinted glass. This is something that I really like uh, as a person who builds mob farms in a lot of my worlds, not all of them, but a lot. Uh, I think this is really nice because, you know, if I just tinted glass, to put it simply, you can see through it, but light does not pass through it. So if I build a little house, like so, you can see, ah oh yes, it's lit in here, but I have a torch. It is now dark. It is daytime outside. You can see it is light around me, but it is dark in here. And then if I break this, it lights up because the light goes through. But I really like this, for reasons. Uh, one of them is just because I think it's I think it's nice, and it'll be nice for mob farms. That that's literally the main reason why I like it. Uh, but besides that, I mean, it, it's cool. Uh, and then yeah, I want to show off the lightning rod. So let's let's get to a big old high place like this tree right here. And let's just let's just let's just see how this goes. Set the rain. I set the weather to thunder. Let's just see if it strikes our lightning rod. All right. I'm going to summon a lightning bolt on myself. Okay, I still hit myself. So it looks like how how close does this have to be? Why is this not working? Does the lightning rod not work, or am I just being like super dumb? They may not have added functionality for it yet, but it, it's cool. I think it, it, interesting building block, yes. You can also do it directionally, so you can do weird stuff like this and make bar graphs if that's what you're into, which if you're into bar graphs, then why are you, just why? Like, why are you into bar graphs? Like math is cool and all, but that's weird. Uh, but yeah, I think that pretty much sums up our good old let's clear this weather i'm not dealing with it um <laughs> yeah i think that pretty much sums up this you know just in general it's pretty epic um we got some pretty cool additions to existence uh so yeah if you enjoyed the video make sure to subscribe or like the video or whatever you want to do because i can't force you to do anything and yeah, I will see you all next time. Bye!